Hi, everybody. Wendell Edwards here from Daily Mods Concepts. In this segment, what I want to look at is how do I navigate my multiple choice paper with percentage? All right, so we're just going to focus on ideas surrounding percentage, what the paper one is about as it relates to percentage. Stay tuned. I will be right back. All right, welcome back. Um, looking at percentage, right? Um, so we're looking at CSEC. Uh, we are looking at CXC paper one, all right? So we're looking at paper one, which is the multiple choice paper. Um, there are a lot of percentage questions that comes, but they come within a context. It's not like they just come like that, random. They come within a context. The, 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 the paper one percentage questions are linked to understanding 10%. That's the, one of the biggest factors. If I understand how to find 10%, most of the percentage questions that I see, we, we are able to, to actually get the answers quickly because we don't use calculators. All right, um, let's, let's, let's try a number, for example, $400. So having this $400, what is 10% of this? The secret behind this for a multiple choice paper is to understand that 10% in reality is basically taking off one of my zeros. So 10% will be like this, take off one of my zeros. So 10%, of $400 is actually $40. So without working out anything, um, they're gonna make sure that there are a lot of zeros at the end of the numbers when they're going to give that so that you could do this. Taking off a zero really means that the decimal point would have moved one place to the left, all right? That's what really happens. Now let's go forward. If I know 10%, then what is 20% off that same $400? But if I know 10% is 40, so if I double 10% to get 20, I double the 40 and I get 80. So 80 is actually 20%. So what about 30%? Now you could see a pattern. I'm adding 40 each time or I'm multiplying by 40. So what we're looking at is 20%. 30% would be three times 40, would be $120. What is 40%? And you could see your pattern now, 440. So we're talking about four times 40, which will give us $160. And I'm gonna stop, 50% is half of that. And we know it's 200, but check it out, five times 40. $200. So we're seeing where understanding 10% goes a far way. Now, this is how far it goes. Let's go backwards. We're talking about $400. So we're taking, we're taking the, the percentage here from off the 400. So let's go 5%. 5%, as you could see, would have been the half of 10%. So 5% is 20 what about 2.5%? 2.5% is a half of 5%. So 2.5% is $10. <clears throat> and you could go further if you want. I'm just saying that um, we could go one and a quarter percent right now. It's a half of this, so it's going to be $5. Yep. So we... We, 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 we are realizing that, hey, we could do this. So the moment I know 10%, I can go multiples of 10, or I could go even backwards, <clears throat> all right? Now, we could go as far as to find 1%. Look at this, 1%. So we're, we're still thinking of $400, 1%. Is actually to take off two zeros, which means that the decimal point would have traveled one, two places 
to the left. So 1% of $400 is actually $4. Now think about this. If I know 1%, then definitely I know 2%. 2% is the double 1%, so this becomes $8. What is 3%? The triple 1%, so it becomes $12. What is 4%? To multiply 1% by 4. So four fours will give me $16. What is 5%? 5 fours, 20. It's going to be $20. Okay, now what if we want to go smaller than 1%? Okay, what is half of a percentage? A half of a, meaning what is the half percentage of? We're talking about the $400, guys. Everything we're linking to $400, right? So a half percent of $400 is $2. How do I know? Because 1% is $4. That means a half of a percent is gonna be two. What if I want a quarter percent? It's actually $1. And what if I want one eighth of a percent? Then it is actually 50 cents. What I'm saying is the moment I can manipulate my 1%, my 10%, then the multiplicative paper for percentage is gonna be easy because they will ensure that the numbers that you're getting, you can easily manipulate it like this. Now, they won't give you a certain percentage, but even if they do, what if they ask me for 7% now? All I have to do is to link 2% to 5%. That's eight, eight plus 20, and that's gonna give me $28. That is 7%. Adding those ideas work. What if I want from this old one that I have, what if I want 15%? 15% is to add 5% to 10%. Therefore, we're talking about 20 plus 40, and that would have given $60. So 15% of 400 is actually $60. And there you go, those are just some um, simple tricks as it relates to percentage for your paper one CXE. Understanding 10% is very important, guys. So there you go. See you next time, Belly Maths Concept. Please like, subscribe, and drop a comment. Bye-bye.